In this video, you're going to learn to subtract numbers where borrowing is needed. If you take a look at my example here, I have 600 minus 143. To subtract, I'm always going to start at the smallest place value. So the first thing I would try to do is say, okay, uh, 3 from 0. Well, I can't take 3 away from 0. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to borrow. But when I go to the next place value, notice I have another zero. I won't be able to borrow from this place as well. So I've got to come all the way over to the hundreds place value before I can start borrowing. Well, I'm going to borrow a one from the hundreds place, which is going to make that a five. Now, 100, when I put that in the tens place, is going to become 10 tens. So what I did is I borrowed a one here. Now, when I move that one to the next place value, it adds 10 to this value. Well, that value is zero. So now it becomes a 10. Once this becomes a 10, now I can borrow from this 10 for the next place value. So I borrow from this 10, which is going to make it a 9. And now when I bring this 1 over to the next place value, it's going to add 10 to this value. Well, that value is 0. So 10 plus 0 is going to make that a 10. Now I'm ready to subtract. Again, starting at the right, 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 4 is 5. And then 5 minus 1 is 4. So when I take 600 and subtract 143 from it, I get an answer of 457.